All right, now look, y'all know I love Battle Masters. I love Battle Masters. Little dudes turning into things for other dudes, tick. But I wasn't sure initially if I was gonna review this particular Battle Master. But then I thought, given how he was impossible to get at retail in Australia in his Siege release, and given that this Earthrise release is reasonably fresh, I just didn't want to do him wrong. I thought, as a character, everything wrong represented and everything they did with him in the comics, I just, there's too much to say. So let's the session commence, yes? Well, this doesn't look great. For some reason, I don't seem to be able to open these blister cards in any other fashion than that of a deranged badger. But I think it'll be okay because I don't know if anyone's getting lost without this piece of the map. Well, there he is. Maybe we gotta punch him. I'll say this, one thing I like, because of how teeny tiny he is, you do get some really nice shallow focus. Okay, first things first, right off the top, something that we just gotta get out of the way. Tell me about your mother. How do you feel about that? Lay down on the couch. What does that mean? You're a nut. You're crazy in the coconut. For those somehow not in the know, Rung is a character that got added in the IDW comics. Um, he is a really good example, I think, of everything IDW was trying to go for and pulling off in their comics. Just a new character, really interesting story, great character development, cool twist at the end. Oh, I don't want to ruin it for anyone. If somehow, if you haven't read those comics or if you jumped off at some point, like I know they're all wrapped up and I personally enjoyed them more than the current Transformers comics. Don't tell anyone. That of course is protected by patient doctor confidentiality. Man, I thought we got them out of the way. There might be some more. Given what Rung's deal ultimately is, it's kind of interesting that they ended up doing him this way. It's a good way of doing what was like an ongoing gag, his unidentifiable alt mode. So that's a cool little nod. This, for such a little figure, it is very laden with references, which is cool. But is it not weird that he came out as part of Siege when they were like trying to be so slavishly G1 to everything? He actually has a different transformation because he looks so different as a, as a weapon. So it's not your standard gun boy. So I'm like, all right, go ahead, flip up that backpack, bring his arms up, they'll tab in just at the top. This is probably some quite old territory for, you know, people who managed to get their hands on the Siege one, but it's new and exciting to me, so you're gonna watch it. You clearly have some anger issues that you'll need to work on. Yep. So that's it. In the comics, there was a joke that his official alt mode classification was ornamental because he kind of just turns into this. There's um, a couple of great bits where, I think it was Swerve uses him as a whacking stick and smashes someone with him, also hilarious. But yeah, love me some wrong. So, being a battle master, he does come with some energy effects, which are pretty cool ones. They fit really snugly as well, which is quite cool. Because, uh, you know, you know what I mean. Anyone who's got any of these, some of them just slip off. <laughs> So, yet another cool little nod in all of this. The sort of vaguely drill-like nature is a cool kind of nod to something that happened to him in a parallel universe with the Functionists. In the Functionist universe. You're gonna have to read the comics, it's dope. I'm so torn between, you know, comic spoilers and my own toy thoughts. So here goes, if you plan on reading the comics, just skip forward maybe a few seconds. But wouldn't it have been cool if the two halves of this blast effect looked like they were making a matrix out of light? Like kind of, you know, lightning E, but then vaguely had the shape of two halves of a matrix, seeing as that's something else that happens in the comics. Read comics. Excelsior. Um, that's, that fits because, you know, Transformers did start at Marvel. Megatron fought Spider-Man. Let's have a quick look at how he pairs up with some peeps, shall we? I quite like him paired with Ratchet. I think he's kind of cool as like some kind of surgical tool and then whew, some kind of like diagnostic scanner or something like that. And then, you know, I think we've all seen enough movies and stuff to know that any kind of energy scalpel can be pretty awesome. To see him with some Earthrise peeps, I thought he goes pretty good with Hoist and Grapple because his yellow is a pretty good color match to them and I like color coordination in things. So, you know, 
it's a similar sort of deal, I imagine. I, I, even in this context, I see him more as, you know, drill tool and then, again, some kind of scanner. <laughs> Maybe a spirit level, I don't know. You know, it really is such a unique weapon mode. It's a shame that it hasn't been repurposed into some kind of alternate Decepticon context where it's like a bladed one end cannon, other end sort of something. Here he is alongside a couple of other handheld homies. And just to finish things off, here's a little Lost Light reunion shot. I believe Hot Rod's Peter Pan syndrome to be pathological and dangerous to all of those around him. 